Update on the Wildcat number two build. 30 by 10. Fancy walkthrough. Motor well access. Nice Freeman hatches. Sink. Another sink. Got a little bit of a step here for getting through the transom. Keep things from coming out. Look back. Nice flat, straight, right into nicely sized scuffers. These are battery slash seat boxes. Plano storage trays for three 3700s. Yeah. Storage there. The slide rod holder. Nice toe kicks coming around. Up. Seat bases, the three more planos. You got a little, uh, notice that little cut out there to give this seat, forward facing seats, a little bit more tow room. Same thing here. They all have a bulkhead seat. Helm. We got tray. Everything up here has nice lips so that our sandwiches, phones, and things like that aren't falling back. That's a big left compartment. Three seats going down the port side. All of this is uh, storage access with different doors, configurations. So it'll kind of maximize all of our empty room. Uh, we'll have closed cell phone panels in there for insulation and sound deadening. Coming into the uh, modified cutty, at least modified from number one. So this is a shorter cutty, and this is meant to climb on in and lay down with your feet aft. Laying all the way down underneath there, and this is about an eight foot bed, so tons of room. We got storage. Underneath, these are the uh, steps that go around the cabin on the outside, making it a walk around. And then we'll have storage here, another shelf here, yet another shelf there. That'll have a door. Uh, back of the helm will have a door there with all the electronic panels and that, that sort of goodies. <clears throat> Coming in here, uh, be able to slide a porta potty in there if uh, somebody was so interested for that. Looking towards the front, both sides, we'll have a door here for some more storage up underneath the bow. There you can see the access hatch. That one over, deep, uh, over our fuel tanks, sending units and that sort. It's fish boxes, one on each side. And those are the Flexa Hopper, about 70 gallons inside uh, each one, so we'll have two of those. As we move forward on the boat, a couple storage trays there. Again, another angle of the tow kick. But we got the tow kick moving forward all the way up till we get pretty pretty much to the bow. You'll notice that this cleat is not in the way at all. Got another storage tray, two of them with again tow kicks moving all the way out. You see storage underneath the bow up there, big anchor locker storage. And we added this internal rail here with a cup holder and rod mount so that when we're up fighting fish or casting the jumpers up here on the bow, we can lean just right into this uh, and just adds a lot more security. And then really big anchor locker going in here. Uh, we're discussing between gas struts to lock this up or just hold the dang thing open. And my preference, I think, is going to be Fold it open so that a gas strut isn't hanging there or uh, blocking this door up. And then if we hit a wave or something when someone's getting into this compartment, they just yank on that and push it right over and break the struts off. I don't know. Opinion? Another plate. Everything matches one side to the next. And going over the hard top, uh, we moved the radar to the aft of the cabin instead of having it up here. 